hello and welcome. This is April Ray with the introvertmogul.com. Thank you so much for joining me. So um, I wanted to answer the question, what do I write about in my business? Um, what do I blog about? What do I email my, my prospects about? Um, what do I say on social media? How do I create an ebook? I don't know anything. I'm still new. Um, help me, right? I mean, I get that question all the time. So I want to share some um, places where you can find content, where you can get content ideas, and um, then I'm going to reveal an industry secret that uh, people probably won't tell you that they do, but they've been doing um, since their business started in order to create content. And I did it when I first started. And it's super easy and it's super genius, as far as I'm concerned, to help you get your content going, get it out there, create it easily and quickly so you can start you know, um, benefiting from it. All right, so first of all, the screen that I have up is Fiverr.com. Fiverr is a place you can go to and it's spelled F-I-V-E-R-R.com. It's a place you can go to to get anybody to do anything for you for five bucks. You can get someone to create a blog post, you can get somebody to create an ebook, uh, create a video, to transcribe a video, um, anything. When I say anything, I mean anything. You can find someone through this website and um, it's pretty popular. People do it if you want someone to just kind of do your stuff for you. It's an inexpensive way to get that done. So it's $5 a pop, sometimes 10, sometimes 20, depending on what it is that you're looking for or you're asking for. They can do ebook covers, graphic design, programming, anything. So this is a really good source to get content. Another place to go to is to, and these are places where you have someone do the content for you, is called iWriter, I-W-R-I-T-E-R.com. And this is a, another inexpensive place where people will create content for you for a small fee. Um, if you go over to pricing, when you go to their site, they're gonna give you um, a price list of their, of their uh, projects. So they have articles, uh, rewrite of articles, you can, they'll uh, do blog posts for you, uh, press releases, eBooks, uh, Kindle books. And believe it or not, this is the actual price. When you look at standard for an article, um, 150 words, which you wouldn't do a 150 word article. Um, basically, the standard for creating an article or a blog post is at least 700 to 1,000 words, and the, the higher the better. So if you go over to 1,000 words, 1,000 word article, let me go over to blog post because that's um, there. 1,000 word blog post, is seven dollars and fifty cents now that's pretty cheap and in the the work from what i hear i haven't gone here but the work from what i hear is pretty good and the beauty of it is that you can always um rewrite it in your own words which is what i would suggest anyway so it has your branding it sounds like you um the same i would do the same with anybody that kind of um create unless you're really you've been working with an outsourcer for a long time and they know um, how you speak they know your voice so that's another way, going to iWriter.com and have somebody create a post for you. Now, obviously, this is per post, so you have to keep going back to them you know, to get that done and, and pay that, that minimal fee. And it, to me, that's pretty, um, it's pretty uh, generous. And, they, and the standard premium elite and elite plus, I believe that's the quality of the writer. So yeah, if you're getting standard, you're probably not gonna get the best, but you're gonna get pr good enough to where, you, like I said, you can rewrite it into your own words and make it better. All right, and really quick, the last trade secret that marketers do, dig digital marketers do this, is they use PLR, private label rights material. And it's basically um, a source where you can buy a pack 
of maybe blog posts or autoresponder series and they give you they they've written it out for you and they give you the rights to do whatever it is that you want with it so you can create like i said an ebook you can create a blog post out of it you can create an email series and the way to find companies is basically just to use your keyword and then put plr in the google so if you're looking for mlm plr just write that in google and then you're going to come across quite a few um quite a few sites now i've heard of and you might want to write this down master resale rights uh, they've got a few of them here i'll just hit the ebook one all about network marketing so you can find um let's see i think this is an ebook yeah these are all ebooks so be a network marketing super superstar discover the proven steps and actions to get started with success in network marketing 549 okay five dollars can get you an ebook um, like with like I said with uh, the iWriter and Fiverr you want to rewrite this stuff you don't want to just copy paste these things especially for blog posts you want to rewrite them you want to use them as templates use PLR as ideas to create other you know to to recreate the the topic and the and the the writing into your own words the way you would say it and add some of your knowledge into it even if you 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 may think you don't have any knowledge but when you start going through the um the content you'll see oh yeah i can add something about this here maybe i can change the word network marketer or network marketing to just direct distributor or, or direct seller or something like that you can sort of tailor it into your own niche now like i said um you can go and go to any niche if you're in the beauty niche just put beauty plr and you'll find a plethora <clears throat> a plethora excuse me of plr products so let's go over here to this one caught my eye beauty plr and they have individual articles that you can do whatever it is that you want with it. Now here's 1,255 uh, 1, bulk beauty articles. If you click on that, you're gonna get a bunch of articles that you can ultimately rewrite. Okay, let me see here. I want it to give me more information. Let's find another screen, or let's find another one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me go down a little bit farther here. And a lot of times they come in packs and that's what I like about this doing it this way as opposed to just going to maybe to Fiverr or iWriter because you can get these things in packs you don't have to go every time you want one you know article written uh, you have to keep going back where this one you have a pack of articles where you can put your own spin on it rewrite it create it put your images on there and really make something you know something worthwhile and it doesn't have to take a long time to do you're not sitting there trying to figure out what you're going to write about or what you should write about so plr private label rights is a really really great place or a great way to get started in your content marketing until you really start learning whatever it is your niche is a lot you know we come in the beginning and we don't really know a whole lot and a lot of times you want to we talk about well look watch training uh, watch training on the on the subject that you're looking for or on your niche and then do uh, an article about it or blog post and that's that's a great that's great advice that's something that I've done too and that and something that I still do but at the same time if you're still new and you don't maybe you don't have the time to watch the video or to watch the training and you kind of you know you, you didn't listen to the whole thing or all kinds of reasons that we can think of that's going to keep us from writing that blog post or creating that ebook or list magnet um, you can have this available to you at all times so you can have ideas you can you you have something to work with in order to create um, what it is that you want to create and then this site is called exclusive niches.com you have a, a whole range of articles that you can start looking up today and then start creating content that you can put on your blog post and remember especially when you're putting something like this on your blog post even though they give you the free reign to the product other people are using it too so that you definitely want to write it in your own voice and change it up uh, so that it you know so that it's a unique product 
okay? So this is the little trade secret of the digital marketing arena. People use it, people still do. Um, people outsource. Most people who are making a lot of money don't write their own content anymore. Some do, I still write my own content. Um, but some people don't and probably when I the more busier I get the more I'm gonna just have someone do it for me because you know hey, it's just easier to do it that way <laughs> So that's it. Those are the ways that you can start creating content. You can get content ideas Let me just show you one more place to get content ideas. It's called um, I think it's called article marketing article Is it article marketing? Uh, no, it's called easing articles. My bad. Easing articles. Easingarticle.com. Now, when I first started, you know, that's all I did was blog. And I would put my blogs and I would submit it on easing articles. You can create an account for free and you can submit your articles on easing. And, and I have a and I have an account, I have about 100 or so uh, articles on here and I still get traffic from it. It's a great source to get traffic. Article marketing is still alive and well. Um, people don't talk about it as much, but that was one of the ways that I would get traffic to my website. Um, was through article marketing. So it has a bunch of different categories that you can go through. So say if you're in, let's see, real estate, how about real estate? You can basically get a bunch of ideas, let's say buying, and you can see the kind of articles that come up and you can get ideas basically on how on what to write about. And this is just basically an idea generator. You're not gonna really take the articles, which however, I hear that you can share the articles on your website, but I wouldn't do it. Um, I would just use this format, this um, platform to get ideas and generate ideas about some of the things that you um, are interested in writing about. All right, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and tell me how much you loved it. Or if you didn't like it, tell me you suck. You know, you can put that in there too. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, till next time, see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.